Tuesday morning, everyone. It is daytime, live from downtown St. Thomas. My name is Sean Avram. And I'm Sarah Francis. And of course, we are so happy that you're joining us once again. This is the last Tuesday in March. You it believe is. that? And I am more than happy that today is not April Fool's Day. <laughs> I was away last week in Miami, and the whole time on the trip, I'm like, is there, is, are, am I surprise. back on the 31st, or is it April 1st? I couldn't remember if there are 31 days in no, March. But Sean is the prankster of the universe, and so. Luckily, you dodged the I bullet this year. Day. Thank goodness. It'll be a few more years before we can get you on air again. Doing that. Very, very So happy was Miami like good? We missed you here. It was really good. Yeah, it was We a lot had of fun. Uh, Jamie Sidmore filled in for you. Thank you very yeah, much, Jamie. Awesome. You were awesome. Thanks, Jamie. And uh, yeah, so you went to Miami. Yeah, we went to Miami, and we wanted. We were debating whether we go to an all-inclusive by ourselves or go somewhere with the baby, and we decided to bring the baby with us. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it really changes your traveling when you have a baby with you. But it actually was, it was really fun and we actually had our mother-in-law, well my mother-in-law, um, James's mom with us and she watched the baby and she was amazing. I mean she didn't complain at all. We'd go out and go work out or we'd go out for dinner and she just watched the baby cool. a lot of the time and she was amazing. So, so it was a good relaxing time. Really, really you good, needed, yeah. You to relax after not working for a <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maternity <laughs> leave has been so exhausting. I need another one. But it was really fun. So, And the baby, she loved it. She loved swimming. and. It was so nice to not have to bundle her up every day. Yeah. Like just to be able to put her in a t-shirt and like it was a different no world, shoes then, yeah. if she wanted to and it was just so it's much like easier. It's like summer all the time. It is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I felt very pale, I have to say, but it's okay. It was fun. So, And how was the week here in St. Thomas? It was good. It was, uh, I went to start going back to Herbal One after we had Herbal good One on. They gave you. me these cool shades because I've been doing really good. They do glasses there, huh? Yeah, look, oh, it says Herbal one, one on it. That's right. Very cool. You look very stylish. I'm stylish. I go away for a week and I come back to this. Yeah. It's a transformation. There's, there's parts of me gone now. I'm like, my weight's going. Yeah, I know. I, I found all your weight while I was in Miami, so I have to get a, on it. I'm gonna be translucent soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty incredible. You know, they're, they're magicians over there at Herbal One. Yes. <laughs> They're awesome. They're a lot of fun. But so. I have to go visit them too. So yeah, you, you've we're gonna have the really Herbal well. One like weight loss challenge between Sarah and I. That's right. We're we're on a mission to get fit and in good shape uh, as the weather gets warmer. So uh, we're doing it in earnest this time. We keep talking about it, but now it's actually it's happening. for real. It's on. And the child, you've already gotten a head start on me. Mm. So I have to catch up. Okay, <laughs> catch up. That's cool. But um, yeah, and St. Thomas is looking really good. It's finally sunny here and April's tomorrow, so that's always good to hear. And uh, we have a really good show today, um, awesome. which I'm very excited about. We have Railway City Brewery, which is our awesome uh, local microbrew here in St. Thomas. And uh, it's beer. How can you not like that? How can you not like it? Exactly. It's not on program, however, so. It's not on the program. I can have one. I can have one. So what can I, I have? I can have one Railway City it's not gonna you have happen. to sip. You have to do the fine <laughs> sips. We have uh, David Gunter coming in from Prodigy MMA, which is mixed martial arts. So he's going to spar Sarah. See, I don't know anything that's going on <laughs> today. So you're going to get grounded and pounded know. and tapping out. As in, I, I love, can't wait to see that. I like. I think you could take no, them. I don't really like any. You you've know, got actually, you've got a long reach. So I did kinesiology at Western. So part of kinesiology, which people joke about, it's actually gym class. Right. So you have to learn how to do different sports. And so one of them was actually uh, wrestling, and I did karate as mm. well. You did. So I've got a little bit of um, little bit of experience there. So I don't know if he knows what he's getting himself into, but I'll take you on. Well, got I was you. At, I was at wrestling this weekend at Cool's Warehouse. I was a special ring announcer. A lot of fun. This is becoming a little gig for you. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be there this all the time, I think. Thing. There was a sign. We're going to see the, uh, the footage in the next week or so, but there was a sign there, Wreck Fears Sean Abram. Who's Rack? Better believe it. The bad guy. Oh, Rack is his name. Yeah. I love the name. The guy who beat me up. I was assaulted oh, that was on television. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's, he's the guy that straddled you. <laughs> exactly. That was awesome. And then Tony Bendel, behind this camera that is pointing at us, you can't see him, but he stands behind the scenes every week. Shaking his head at trying us. Trying to make us look good. He actually uh, did a great interview with uh, Jimmy Flynn, so we'll have That's a chance be to awesome. check that out funny, as well. Funny, funny man that. Uh, Denise Lozon from, uh, she's Metamorphosis uh, Hand Cream. Going to talk to us about how I can fix this dry skin on my hands after wintertime. And Kara Taylor. Hmm. A friend a, of yours. A friend of mine and uh, a very, very talented up and coming interior designer. And she has her own company and she's coming to show us some spring trends and some great ideas to get your uh, table decorated and beautiful for Easter. So cool. 
Um, we it's have about time. We're going to have color. She had, we know. walked in here and there's color, spring colors. and it just All those happy. happy spring colors. Yeah. So stay with us right here on Daytime. We're going to take a quick break and we'll see you here after the short break. Well, the other day when I was told that I was going to be doing this interview, I was uh, wondering how am I going to be able to do this because uh, this guy here is one of Canada's greatest comedians. And it's been a real honor to, uh, to be here and uh, have a chat with, uh, with you. And this is uh, Jimmy Flynn, for everybody that doesn't know who this fella is. How are you all out there in uh, St. Thomas land? <laughs> Jimmy, so what, uh, what brings you here to town? My car. <laughs> Your car. <laughs> Excellent. And no, uh, and how was that trip? Oh, it was a great trip. Uh, this is my third trip, actually, to St. Thomas. And uh, I had actually played Centennial Hall in London one time, and I met some friends there that live here now, and they became great friends of mine, and uh, Myron and his lovely wife. And uh, so they invited me back here. This is my third trip here, and uh, we do some fundraisers here for different organizations and raise some money and stuff. And uh, it's just been a lot of, you know, it's really nice. St. Thomas is a nice town. Now, Jimmy, you played uh, last night over at the uh, Elgin Labor Temple, and yes. uh, tonight is your last show. Yes. Um, any plans on uh, when you're coming back? Oh, probably, you know, 12 months from now. That's usually the rotation, you know, 12 to 14 months. But uh, you never know. Like, you know, something comes up, a festival or something like that. I'd love to come up and do festivals. And we do a lot of concerts. We do a lot of conventions. We do a lot of festivals, uh, a lot of private shows and stuff like that too, right? Uh, i I got to tell you that uh, for years I was a, a truck driver. And uh, I went from uh, city to city, and uh, a lot of times you don't get anything on the radio or something that, you know, anything that's really good enough to listen to. But, yeah. um, you know, 15 years ago, I used to put your uh, tapes in, and uh, I got to thank you, man. It, it gave me many hours of uh, entertainment going through those cities. So well, it's, just, it's nice, you know, because uh, I listen to other comedians when I'm driving, and it keeps you awake. And, and I was in a place in Quebec a couple of weeks ago, and this woman told me the same story. Her husband was a, a long-haul truck driver, and... Uh, she said, your stuff keeps my, my husband from falling asleep. And I told her, I said, you can't sleep when you're laughing. And that's going to be the name of my next album. You can't sleep when you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is true. That is true. Yeah. And that's one thing you don't want to do when you're, uh, especially driving truck, is uh, that's right. oh, <laughs> falling yeah. asleep yeah. anytime time behind the that's wheel. Right. So uh, so where, where are you off to now after uh, you're done this uh, St. Thomas show? Uh, where's your next stop? All right, we're flying back to Halifax tomorrow, Sunday, and then uh, I'm back up my farm for a couple of days, and then I, I play in New Brunswick on Friday, and then we're back to Halifax for show Saturday, and the week after that, we we got a, a cruise ship business going out to a travel agency, and uh, so we're, t we're taking about 100 people down to the Caribbean, down to, we're going to Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, so we're leaving on the 17th. So if you're interested in going on a cruise next year, it's uh, my website is youwillhavefun.com www.willhavefun.com or go on jimmyflynn.com and uh, tell you all about you know what we're doing and our tapes and CDs and new stuff that's coming up and our tour dates and all that type of stuff. Wow, excellent. So how's uh, this tour coming up then? I take it it's all sold out right now? Yes, yeah, the tonight's sold out and uh, I'm pretty well everywhere we go it's, it, it's been sold out because people need to laugh today. A lot of people are hurting today and, and uh, you know guys come up to me last night and they said their faces were sore, their sides were sore, <laughs> Thanks, man. I needed that, right? But one of the greatest things that happened to me in my career, I was playing in Hamilton a couple of years ago, and a, a man came to the show, and he had a heart transplant and a double lung transplant. And he was one of the only people in the world that survived that operation. But when he got his new lungs, he didn't know how to laugh, right? So I bought some of my CDs, and I made him laugh, and he actually came down to the show to thank me, and I brought him up on stage. It was real neat, yeah. Wow. So how many years has this been for you now, doing the... Uh, um you know, touring the, the across Canada and uh, and mm. performing these shows. Probably 32 years. 32 years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now, okay. You never take it to look at me, would you? <laughs> <laughs>
So, Sylvia, what's it like uh, traveling across uh, Canada here with your husband? It's uh, very therapeutic for me. I was in a car accident nine years ago, and uh, I'm in chronic pain, so laughter is definitely the best medicine for me, and uh, I enjoy every show that I attend. Yeah. You know, that's, that's pretty wonderful to have uh, your wife traveling across country with you where, uh, you know, Who's she's not that? staying at <laughs> <laughs> It is. No. Well, that's, 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 I'm only serious. <laughs> For her sake, you better. <laughs> this is actually our, uh, in August. We've been married 40 years now, and uh, you know it's kind of nice. Yeah, it's it's nice to have my wife, and she's a lovely singer. She comes up on stage and sings with me every night, you know, and uh, and people really appreciate to see you, you know. Uh, people our age getting up and singing and playing together after all these years, right? Walk us, yes. Well, my age, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Well, that, awesome. what, what do you got for us here, Jimmy? For, oh. uh, can you give us a little show? Well, what, the good old Maritime song. Everybody out there now in St. Thomas, get up on top of the Chesterfield and start jumping around and clapping your hands like these people behind us. Come on, everybody clap your hands now. And up she rises, hooray! Up she rises, hooray! Up she rises. Early in the morning, what do we do with the rocket sailor? What do we do with the rocket sailor? What do we do with the rocket sailor? All the girls, hooray! Up she rises, hooray! Up she rises, hooray! Hooray! Hey, that's obscene. Hit him on the head with a rubber chicken. Hit him on the head with a rubber chicken. Hit him on the head with a rubber chicken. Early in the morning, hooray! Well, there you go, folks. For everybody going down to the Jimmy Flynn show, you're in for a really good time. Volunteer Week, of course, is a very important uh, week in Rogers TV because we could not do our show without the wonderful volunteers that we have. And there's so many other things in the community, locally, that runs on volunteers. So we have Rogers TV's own Tony Bendel here to talk about Volunteer Week. Thanks for being with us, Tony. Thanks, Sean. You've come a long way from behind the camera to the front of the camera. About, yes. fi about five steps. Yes, this is uh, actually a bit of a surprise today. I didn't know I was going to be doing this. So. Oh, good. See, good sport. Surprise. That's one of the main characteristics we look for in a Rogers volunteer. Oh, is that what it is? That's yeah. right, yeah. The ability to just do what you need to do at the last moment. Get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> so, volunteer week. When is it? Yes, sir. Uh, it's coming up next week. Next week? Yes. Um, they're going to be, uh, you know, basically celebrating all about, uh, finding out about volunteers. What they do and, uh, you know, how to get involved and to get people involved in the community. I've been doing this now for almost 25 years. Yeah, when you say you're doing this, you've been doing just volunteering in general? Volunteering in general, yeah. Like and, I, I've and lived you're everywhere. You do everything in St. Thomas, mm -hmm. it seems like. Yeah, I've been involved with a few things here in town. But, you know, over the years, uh, different communities, different things. Uh, my, my theory is to, if, if, especially in today's economy, if you're out of work and you're looking for a really good job, volunteer. Because mm -hmm. the connections that you can make mm -hmm. through volunteering, it's, it goes back to the old saying, it's not... What you know, it's who you, it's know. you know. And you can get some pretty good leads on jobs by, by doing volunteer work. So what are some of the experiences you've had with volunteering? What kinds of organizations and oh, projects actually, have you been involved in? Yeah, actually, I've done, uh, back in 1993, I was chairman for the Hot Air Balloon Festival up in Grand Bend oh, cool. uh, through the air show. And uh, I used to volunteer, actually, the Grand Bend Motorplex that is there now. I was on the original committee back in... Uh, 93 for the uh, fire on ice that we did back then, which then that committee went off to do the motor.